All right, I think we're here. We're live. Whew. Let me get my audio all set up here. I think we're solid to go. Yep, that's it. All right, say something, someone. Make sure my audio is working. <laughs> ah, hey. Hello. Okay. Look at that was a big hello. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hello. 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 All right. Hello. Harry right. survived nice. long falls from the sky. Long falls. Yes, long falls. And we'll talk about that later. Um, and Andrea's somewhere out. It looks like about to go burn the wicker man. Yes. <laughs> um, there it is. I'm leading the charge. That's very yeah. fun, man. Hey, you know, more. Right. The, the more Christopher Lee you can put on screen, the better. Um, that's a fact. That's true, man. Fuck it. It's like it's like, yo, dude. I like hunted Nazis in War II, and I'm a direct descendant of Charlemagne. It's like, <laughs> it's like holy shit. Like, and like, and he recorded with Man of War. And he recorded Man of War. Yeah. And he's the only he's no, the only cast know. member. He's the only cast member of Lord of the Rings that actually met Tolkien. So that's uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a trip. That dude's a trip, man. It's gotta give him. Oh that. yeah, you have to look up. Uh, uh, I mean, he was part of uh, the the original 007 with uh, Ian Fleming. Yeah. Well, that was the whole thing. He, he was part he of the. So I forget much. what the name of the group was. Yeah, but he so he much. killed some people. <laughs> yeah, that dude. That dude did so much. Um, all right. So welcome to session fourteen of Under the Eyes of Zash. Uh, this episode is titled "Dinner with Nagi." Because uh, uh, there has been a dinner date arranged for the newly named Nameless. Oh yeah. You guys, you guys named yourself if you recall correctly. Yeah. We represent the nameless. Yes, we are not the nameless. We work for the nameless. You work for the nameless. Okay, yes. you work for the nameless. Um, we have no name. Yes. The agents agents of the nameless or something that affect Agents of nameless. When yeah. you don't have a gang to protect you, make one up. <laughs> <laughs> Seems fair. You make it sound uh, scary. So you you had paid uh Stis, the leader of the untamed, a sum to set up a meeting with uh uh, a distinct member of the of the local thieves guild you've gathered named Nagi, uh, N A G Y, uh, and it has come back that you are to attend a residence in town uh, to meet with Nagi, a uh, residence of we'll say some some level of opulence oh. is is what it, what what's kind of been indicated uh, based on the information given to you. Uh, this is all carried uh, essentially by word of mouth via Stis uh, to you. Um, you've been given a address and told to show up uh, within the for essentially what seems to be like a dinner day of some sort. Well, good thing I bathed and got perfumed then. You did. <laughs> yeah. You did. Mm. So I don't want to show up if a you, mess. If you, you know? spend the money, if you spend money at the. Um, the Lunar Fair, you will come out smelling much better than you did when you, when you entered. Uh, although almost anything would be an improvement. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you, you, you guys stink. Uh, yeah. so, <laughs> uh, you, you, you get on, you, you get on to the whole, um, uh, but yeah, you guys are, you guys are set and ready. Uh, I believe it's, it's you, they set up a meeting for that evening, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it the next? I, I, hear, so. I think it was that that evening. Um, so yeah, you've been you've been given a pretty uh, pretty abrupt uh, invite, not like a delay at all. Um, it does seem that uh, Stis is a little is a little weary of this, and uh, you can tell there's a little little apprehension there. Um, specifically, which one of you would pick it up on it? Uh, yeah, Norvar. Uh, and more barn you kind of pick up that Stis is a little like apprehensive about this um meeting now uh, where she wasn't prior to getting the notification hmm. so she was fine before but when she let us know the meeting's happening now she's yeah i kind of stumbled over words says it kind of you know uh gets word and comes back a little bit perturbed and is like you know seems like Nagi is interested in meeting tonight. Everything okay, Stitch? You seem nervous. He, um, it's a little, uh, a tad aggressive on his part. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. What's the meaning of Stis? What, you mean her name? 
No, sorry. Oh, you, I mean, okay. He's, he's doing a pun. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I got you, Andrew. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I way over my head, bud. <laughs> I turn up. Okay. How did you get your day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a feeling this is, uh, you know, is this still here? Oh, yeah. No, you're still there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't clear the room. <laughs> You know, uh, oh, give it time. Uh, <laughs> you know, it occurs to me that some of our activities of hunting down, um, we're new in town and we've made a lot of noise. That might be why uh, Nagi's interested in talking to us. Um, He's, he definitely keeps his ears open and eyes. Yeah. Do you think he might have been involved at all with the uh, situation between you and um, Moel? Nor yeah, Morwall. Well, well, well. well, I was called well. Norwall. I kept thinking Norwall. Norwall. <laughs> Norwall the bugbear. Not a Norwall. Not a not a whale. No, he. Uh, she says. Um, I I think I think if Nagi wanted to take care of Moel, he, she would have taken care of him. Uh, a while back yeah i just you know that was a weird situation where you know body oh, well. on the roof and somebody found it and threw it off the roof um yeah okay just curious um okay well i mean this is the best lead we got guys yes i agree hmm. so this is me we can't go and prepare Thank you, Sis. Uh, yeah, we'll be at that meeting. Um, anything you can recommend to us or anything we should be aware of about Nagi? Just don't lie to him. Huh. Sis could lie to us here. It's kind of, kind of our trait. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deal breaker, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Does Sis want to go with us? To no. Uh, no. Sis says it's, <laughs> like, says nah. it's not... It's not my meeting. Yeah. Understood. Mm -hmm. Totally get it. I only speak truths. And you said Nagi is uh, a man or woman? Um, Non-binary? I'd say... She, just takes a second kind of thinks about it and says... Um, I think a bit of it depends. Nagi's more of a more of a mask, a persona adopted. Interesting. And it is uh, Nagi is a person of opulence. Is that what I heard? Yeah, the, this place is a, the, this is an opulent location. It's one of the gotcha. the manor gotcha. in town. I don't believe, from my understanding, Nagi does not live there. Interesting. But well, I'll blend in with the cod piece, so I think I should be good. <laughs> uh, Maybe you should shine it up a little bit. Oh, I'm always shining it up. I'm fucking <laughs> right. I just, love, I just love how this Duogar monk has turned into Andrew Dice Clay. Like, slowly, <laughs> yeah. That's right, baby. Very slowly. That's what happens fresh. when he enters into civilized society. <laughs> uh, He's going to a dinner party, Andrew. Yeah. That's right. Hey. So yeah. Hey, <laughs> Mother Goose. Um, <laughs> all right, so, I'm ready to go. Yeah, you um, you guys kind of prep up. Um, you uh, you're not expected to bring anything like a casserole or anything, so no problem there. <laughs> uh, but uh, you you do kind of cross the town, find your way through. Uh, it, it's it's not this is not necessarily like an like a like a opulent part of town, but it does have some um. You can tell it's a little more privileged, and there does stand a three-story manor. Um, doesn't surprisingly, it's actually not like when they say it was opulent. You're kind of thinking, oh, it's going to be like gorgeous. Like that. It's, it's actually kind of run down, but you can hmm. tell that if it was fixed up, it'd be, it'd be impressive. Interesting. But it doesn't. It doesn't look like 100 percent abandoned. I'll go like Adam's family type house, like you know, type situation. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like it's got some wear and tear to it, but it's definitely not. It's seen better days. We'll so say. definitely a fixer upper. Yeah, it, it's not. It's not. It's not great gardens, you know. Like it's not that bad, but it's. Yeah. It's. <laughs> it's still a little. Is this is this campaign turning into house hunters? <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta flip this bitch. Yeah. 
<laughs> let's buy it and let's do it. it. <laughs> let's do it. But would you would you also say that it is nighttime? Uh, it's getting to be evening. Yes. Well, it's okay, guys, because my codpiece has headlights. <laughs> according uh, to uh, a tool, according <laughs> to the write up <laughs> that John gave me, so it, it does. So it just does. shines. You floodlight. Can, you can yeah, the floodlights. No, um, the floodlights. <laughs> you can, it does have. It does have. They are dim purple glowing lights that do provide a little bit of light. Not like John. They're light. on. <laughs> That's the point. I don't care. They're on. I yeah, stop on. walking and immediately look at this. <laughs> Yeah, monstrosity shining from my friend's garage. I'm helping. I'm yeah. helping you out. Now you know where to go. Can Why? you turn it down a bit? <laughs> Do not You're... stare directly into the cod piece. I thought you were a monk. Gonna get exhibit to trick this out. That's a really old reference. <laughs> no, that's okay. I've, I've made that reference recently. <laughs> I don't know. No, Pip your crotch. You tricked oh, your crotch. Right. We, we tricked yeah. your crotch. Pip, Pip my crotch. You <laughs> got these right. All right, I'm well, ready to go. So, Let's go. As, you guys, as you guys emerge, <laughs> I'm uh, hungry. As you emerge from the uh, the untamed res- uh, and going down the streets, it starts to rain a little bit. You can hear a little bit of thunder in the distance. Um, it's not like a heavy storm, but there's there's it's getting a little bit rough outside. Um, you come to the the uh, this manor. Um, there's no lights on. It just you don't see any activity. No gate, no windows and stuff. Uh, there's like a small, there's like a small kind of like half busted gate outside, like a little small like low wall. But uh, the gate opens up easily enough. You can hear it kind of moving in the wind a little bit. God. Do we do we notice anybody? Uh, Anyone so around? You take, you're kind of looking around. You don't. I mean, there's people on the streets walking around trying to get out of the rain, but you don't see anybody in the house. There's no lights on. Just with your gun, he's sliding up. Yeah, <laughs> just. Uh, All right. Well, Rudolph, maybe you might want to get it. Oh <laughs> right well, yeah. Think, should uh, I? Should I press my crotch against the window to see if I can see it? No. Let's, I'll know, look down and look. <laughs> I'm just yeah. Remember, everyone, we represent the nameless. Well, and we are a serious no, new player in the town, and we are no, here. <laughs> With the way, you're, with the way Zogchen's going, this is no longer House Hunters, it's House Humpers. <laughs> <laughs> turning, it's turning into Bang Bros. Um, oh, you're, wow. you're my little, you're my little lantern. <laughs> All right, so, uh, you, yeah, you, you know, you can waltz on in past the gate, no, no problem. There's, there's okay. a door, it has a knocker. You know, nice little kind of... Uh, Kind of like, a, like a green man head, like a head of a green man type situation on. Oh, yeah. I knock it. I'm like, allow me. Yeah. The, um, you knock on the door, and shortly within time, the door opens. Uh, you can see that there's like a like as the before the door opens, there's a small amount of like very like faint flickering flickering light underneath the door, uh, and you can it opens up and you see a uh, it's a it's a man. Um, wearing kind of a hood with, uh, you know, some, I don't want to say commoner clothes, but he, he's not, I mean, not like, like he's like a hooded, like cultist figure. He just has like a hood on to kind of keep him warm, keep the weather out a little bit, uh, mm-hmm. holding a candle. And he says, uh, no need for the candle, but go ahead. You, well, okay. You're, you're, yeah, I know. You, <laughs> you, you got it. You got it covered with the dark vision and the uh, cod piece. That is true. Uh, so you, you go, yeah, he, he says, uh, you have been, exp- you've, been expect we've been, been expecting you and he opens the door to let you in this is okay. so my friend uh douse his crotch lantern uh <laughs> he's all entered the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really that's how you put it okay sure um, all right so i guess uh, i guess you go in that's all this is that's a possible trap it's so trappy trap trap i'll go in last just because i'm largest <laughs> okay so you you walk on in into a uh rather good sized foyer actually uh and you can see there's a balcony up on the second floor um he uh, the the gentleman closes the door and, and latches it behind you. It just has a simple latch, uh, interior latch. Um, he says, uh, "Please uh, follow me." And he starts kind of walking the candle through the the building. Um, he starts going up uh, the staircase in the center of the foyer to the the balcony. Uh, do you have any any way upstairs? Any other way upstairs? 
uh, the building the building's pre eighty like, <laughs> uh, eighted. You know, no, yeah. actually going up the stairs, I think you'd be fine. Isn't the hardest part for cows and horses is going downstairs? Well, so if, I go, get up. if I go upstairs, no one look at me. And when I go downstairs, no one look at me. <laughs> yeah, I get very, very self conscious going up and downstairs. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll craft a rant for you. Yeah. You want so. me to hold your hand? Uh, no, 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 it's quite fine. Nice. So, Just don't look. You ascend the stairs. Uh, and he, uh, as he waits for uh, the trouncer to, to take his time, uh, stairs are kind of a new concept to the trouncer. Uh, and you, he takes you through um, a hallway down a little ways. Uh, there is now another set of stairs going to the third floor. Of course, there is. <laughs> and uh, I look at I look at uh, the guy, and I'm like, really? I mean, <laughs> we have a. You knew we were coming. You need to stand on the center. Uh, he, he's just like he says nothing as you kind of belittle him, uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of give give you know give him the business, uh, and he takes you up the stairs and uh, you come up to another landing, and he looks and he points to a, a room down the way. After you. <laughs> All right, might as well. Yeah, I think to myself, huh? might as well be the first guy. Uh, Nor are you. You take the lead as you walk down the hallway mm -hmm. uh, slowly, uh, and you guys can. You guys are, I'm guessing, fully armored or whatever. You, I think. Nor yeah, I have my armor. shield. My sword's deep, but I do have the shield. Yeah. Um, my and shield away. Cloak and hood is up. You you walk I, through. Yeah, you're a little damp from the from coming out. So. Uh, coming from the the outdoors, I shake off. I shake off. And you can hear up here the you can hear the 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 rain a little bit more here. You can hear the tink 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 tink. tink. Thunder's a little bit louder up here. Um, and the room points to you, you look into it, and you can see there's a little bit of light inside the room. Uh, it looks like a series of candles on a table, um, and it looks like um, I, I guess I, the way I would describe it is a solarium uh, of sorts, like kind of a top floor solarium. Uh, and you can see there's a glass on the ceiling uh, as it, as the rain comes down, and once again, you can occasionally very it's it's very light, it's very much in the distance. Like you can kind of hear like see the the flash of the lightning in the distance. Um, but uh, in the middle of the room is a, a long table with looks like food, um, some candles, and upon the opposite end of the table, you see a figure um, sitting. Waiting. I uh, take my hood off, mm -hmm. and uh, the Nagi, I presume. The uh, the individual looks up and stands up and says, uh, <laughs> "That's correct, Norvar. Thank you for your punctuality." It's my uh, it's our pleasure. Thank you for putting this on the third floor. It was helpful to our <laughs> Well, it is uh, away from prying eyes. But please, please have a seat, all of you. I, I prefer to stand. They provide you a very long bowl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, they, uh, he, they understand, he understands and allows you to uh but the, there's chairs i mean everything's kind of like beat up in here it's not like in great shape but it looks like at one point this was a rather nice table chair set up and so like that peerless the chairs seem very stable dun, dun, dun. i just pushed the chair aside yeah, I, yeah. no, yeah, no chair uh, as i sit down as, as we're coming down i go i Thanks appreciate lockdown. you making the time to see us uh so quickly uh apparently you are quite you are rumored to be quite a busy man. At times, the uh, I have to say it was um, of interest. Your um, how do I put this? Uh, lack of arrival in town. Lack of arrival. Well, you know, uh, our benefactors wanted us to be get here and start on our mission with um, this was most, a... with as much haste as possible. <laughs> a, your benefactor, I I love this term, you know. I I, I too how am a am a benefactor to uh, many around here. But tell me about this, the 
benefactor and the, the perhaps the business they brought you here for in our well, film, as far in as quick question hmm. met, met a question here uh, and just because I, I, I'm it's slipping my mind from last week <clears throat> why are we talking to this guy again he, what knows, is, what is, he seems to know he's kind of an information source in the town a hub of information and, and what and information do we need from him again? Where the wizards are, or what yeah, happens? Right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. No, 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 right. no wrong. We are, well, we are agents of the Nameless, and this group is interested in locating a group of wizards that have come to your town. <laughs> and these people are not the kind of people you want running around your city. Uh, they are the kind that the longer they stay, the more likely to cause a disruption. We have been dispatched by our benefactor to, as agents of the brother, to uh, find and detain hmm. these particular characters oh, uh, who have come into your town. And I'm sure a person like yourself knows about anybody that comes into out of town knows who we are. So a simple, a simple detainment. <laughs> That's all. Um, and kind of well, looks, it, looks over the centaur and, and and is kind of like thinking about yeah, the centaur is going to detain somebody. Uh, very much understanding. Detain. <laughs> As I said, we uh, these people these people are. Dangerous individuals and might require some convincing to take a moment to discuss the situation. So, hence, our absolutely. Well, I have good news for you. I know of these individuals that you ask about. Um, they. Um, their arrival was much like yours abrupt. Yeah, it would be. But not quite as um, noisy. <laughs> well, we were not hired for our subtlety. No, I, I, I'm quite, uh, I'm actually quite glad you weren't. Uh, <sighs> these individuals you speak, they, 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 they pay well. I must say, um, they pay well for silence. They pay well for um, coverage of themselves, and they're to turn a blind eye. So Have they paid you? Uh, they've paid my organization. I'm getting tired of this guy. Understandable. They're evil. Uh, you know, he's been helpful. Meta, he's been helpful so far. Um, <laughs> helpful with what? What's he, he's telling us shit. He's telling us stuff we he's, already know. He's yeah, about to. When do we eat? eat? Oh, you're, you're welcome. I'm eating. Please, I'm already eating. He, he, yeah. no, he says, oh, I'm sorry. I, please, more, more. I, please enjoy enjoy the uh, the fine the fine vegetables and and meats we've provided here by all means. And it's like it's like skewers. Um, it's stuff oh, yeah. that you're pretty sure is cooked off site and brought here, but it's still it's still warm. That might um, That's cool. And you have like, you know, it's like kind of like a, I don't know, like just peas and carrots, but there's something else fun in there. Um, I start looking I'm at my bee. little onions. <laughs> little, little, little I'm, onions. Gonna, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking at my chair and I lean over to Trouncer. I'm like, do you see this craftsman shit? <laughs> like, I'm ready to get out of here, man. This, this guy, if this guy don't start talking. Uh, oh. no. I look in over there. and I'm like, I kind of turn and like away from him and kind of glare at my dwarf friend like, what are you? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know social cues. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I know. Patience. And then I look back, I look back at him and I say, um, well, uh, what would it take for us to get some information and possibly your organization's blessing to handle these individuals that will, while might be, uh, you know, generous now, will become a problem the longer this. Uh, Norvar, I have to say this about you. You've 
you're a very understanding and, and conscientious person in that regard. Um, as, as you can quickly tell Norvar that uh, Nagi seems to actually like what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, and is like, yes, th these individuals are, it isn't so much that I find them dangerous. I find what da what's dangerous about them is what they are bring what they will bring to this town. You, the four of you, are the first wave. We will not be the last, and you will not be the last. Um, I mean, I can make characters all day, John. <laughs> all day, we can meat grind this thing. Kill this guy, I'll just be right back. Yeah. I'll be right back, John. Just say, I'm going to get these wizards, John. <laughs> Who is this John? Yes. Yes. <laughs> speak, speak. You mean now. more centaurs will appear? <laughs> uh, he's a centaur meat grinder, yeah. Um, you, you, so yes, and you are right. Um, these individuals uh, are, and their powers they bring, they're not uh organizations like that are few and far between and uh i think you and i both know who their uh former employer link from was i just asked what's that I said link because oh well, more about uh. mute now <laughs> That was more. That was more Barn talking, right? It was. It was. Okay. Morbon was speaking I in know, tongues. No, no, I. I signed on to Twitch. Oh, okay. ah, <laughs> nice. So you didn't mute it, okay? You did uh, the feedback loop. Nice. Gotcha. gotcha. Uh, Total pro. That's good. That's a good move. <laughs> so yeah, you um, I. Sure, where was I? I'm sorry. Like, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, uh, uh, I know the employer, and um. Yeah, you, th this is a this is a, a conflict we've avoided for uh, the duration, and my guild only exists because of this avoidance. We we lie beyond the sphere of influence of this uh, uh, of this organization. Well, I can definitely say that my our organization has no interest in the politics or the or the uh, subtle balance of your city. We have no interest in it at all. We would rather be not disrupted, but Obtaining these people and any information that leads to it is the most important to us. Hmm. Well, Giannis is a uh, not not an ancient city, but this is a uh, ancient settlement, and below it has been built upon uh, a prior uh, point of construction. Uh, utilizing the uh, that point of construction for uh, what amounts to a fine sewer system, all things considered. Uh, but beneath that is further construction, and in there, I th believe you will find your um, quarry. You are very generous. Thank you. However, is there? something that is this a gift from one organization to another or is this something that is is there more attached is there some payment that, that we need to arrange i wish the, I like it. the removal to be absolute then our then our goals align but at the same uh, time, uh, with their removal, there should be uh, spoils that I would care to have. Uh, How much would you care to have? Half. Half. Lower. Oh, well, hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let me tell you about Mother Goose. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I say, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, uh, Eggnoggy. Uh, I have to talk to uh, my compatriot over here to the side, and and like when I get out of my chair, it like probably almost falls apart. Jesus Christ! Um, I say, yo, what what does this guy want? He wants us to wipe all I these people out. What's up? 
Uh, well, I tell him, I tell our host, excuse us for a moment. I step over with. No, I didn't. I didn't even. I, yeah, I was like, oh, who cares? Yeah, as you yeah. said, can I speak to you for a second? And uh, I go, excuse us for a moment. I'm already in the corner talking to you, apparently. And I'll tell him a story while they're doing this. <laughs> about, Let me tell about, you about the time I beat that one's ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in the ring, okay? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Like, first off, he's saying that he wants the spoils, but I, I don't buy that for a second. I, I think this is uh, this is like a Yojimbo situation. I'll, I'll tell you about Yojimbo later. A hundred percent. I think it was, I totally yeah. know this is situation, but but we did yeah. the best lead we got. I do not have any interest in giving them half, but we definitely yes. need, now at least we know where they probably are. He That's wants correct. us to get rid of them. If they get rid of us, or we get rid of them. Doesn't matter to this guy. Okay, I just want to make sure we're on the same page that most likely we're going to, have to take these people out too. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I would not talk about it in their house, but yes. <laughs> is this the, is this his house? No. <laughs> Whatever house. That's not, a, that's not a good representation of the organization right now. As I kick a hole in the wall. It's it's just, <laughs> it's just where they are. <laughs> like, <laughs> so there I was uh, in the ring. I got you. <laughs> I picked them up. All right. right. They're done talking. So I come. I come back during whatever story that uh, Tra Pirelli is <laughs> And then, uh, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> it looks like our goal to line, and it looks like my associates are willing to play ball. However, 50% is quite a lot. Uh, We're looking at five. We cut. Uh, what are we getting beyond information for 50%? We will make sure that um, I will ensure that that my organization stays out of your way. That is so kind. Which I think that would be worth more. Of and it. that uh, we're we're putting a bit of our reputation on the line here. Uh, we 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 made promises to these people. Thank you. Well, things don't always work out very well for. Uh. You know, despite <laughs> With best us. intentions, um, I still think that sounds like a good twenty percent of the take. Twenty percent. It's good. You see, it, it isn't necessarily that my organization, my organization will stay out of your way. That's not an issue. But there are other things that simply follow the guiding principles of the universe between you and them right now. Oh my God. And how about a little bit of support, perhaps from a third organization that could help us? Well, I, it's more of uh, these are remnants that keep individuals out. And we, I will provide you with a uh, an item to, to prevent them from... Uh, uh, triggering for you. Well, that's helpful. Still, awful lot of risk for the nameless to take on all on our own and nothing from you other than standing out of the way and letting two different organizations that are not from the town hack each other apart. And this mediocre dinner. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I just believe that perhaps it might be best if we sit at 20%. Also, since we're getting into the legalese here, uh, are we talking 20% quantity-wise or value-wise? Uh, it's, it's a, their, their idea is an approximation of what there is. Um, they seem, I mean, you can, they, they tell you that, that Nagi says, well, you see these individuals came, to, um, do they, uh, so I asked Nagi. come lightly with, with light baggage, we'll say. Yes, it, Okay, do you, is it just randomly you want 20% of the take or are there specific things you're looking for? We want a percentage of the take. Our initial offer was half, but it seems that your friend Norvar, and uh, make a persuasion check, Norvar. Let's see how, let's see how you are, how you came up to know uh, you. Norvar. And, uh, and Norvar, I'll give you advantage on this because you've been really nice about to him. Okay. Nice. You've been a jerk. No. Zogchen, I would have said, no. Hard, <laughs> hard, hard negative. 
kicking holes in the walls and shit. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> he said it's not his place. So fuck it. A fucking bowl of pee on the floor and shit. <laughs> 18. Yeah. What is this? 18. 18. Nice. Right. Nice. And now he says, um, let's split the difference in your favor and say 30%. Done. Ooh, okay. What? <laughs> we can do that. I think it's pretty good. Oh, it's I'll explain later. Then I mean, um, make sure you you leave. Standard ten percent for manager, but whatever. Make sure you leave uh, <laughs> our chunk down there for us to procure later. You of course get the first hack at it. <laughs> no laughs. No problem. For staff. Uh -huh. Do you uh, do you have any way for us to have any more specific directions to this uh, location than just straight down or anywhere you recommend us entering? And about where do we find this item? That there you are, uh, <laughs> it always takes a little while for our, uh, our newer initiates to navigate those catacombs. Um, and I provide to you one of our uh, training uh, items and, and produces, like, goes to reach in our pocket and produces a small item to hand to you. Okay. You can see a little chain kind of dangling off their hand. That they're okay. going to put it. Do you, do you go take yeah, it? Yeah, take it. Okay. Uh, you look in your hand and there's a small, like, like little necklace kind of charm that ends in what looks to be like a silver talon. Are we now initiates of them? Is that what you're saying? No, no, they're giving us a training, uh, what they give their train, uh, training of their organization. Before they memorize the, the catacombs, before they know where all those tricks are? Yeah, but we're not part of their organization. Yeah, but this is going to lead us through it. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So an apple falls out of my mouth and I say, catacombs? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are you going to go like, underground? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, any way, anything we need to know about using this? It'll, um, much like your, uh, looks, looks over to Zog Chen, uh, it, it'll, it'll light the way for you. Oh! Sounds good. I think he's talking about the Kaku's. Oh, I think I know what he's talking about. Is there a, an entrance to the, uh, this, the under sewer that will help us leave the wish we uh, enter? There's, there's several entrances within the town. Uh, Unfortunately, kind of looks over at uh, tier like the, is like the largest like, entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're going to have to go to the edge of town, <laughs> the big drain pipe on the edge of town. <laughs> Perfect. We don't like, normally go in that way, but uh, good, good. I think there's the circumstances notwithstanding, there's going to be a distinct issue with that here. Anything else we should know that you can recommend, Nagi, for we? Uh... These individuals that you. Uh, are seeking to remove. to remove they're not um i would not take them lightly you they know. uh they're being a member of the organization has only comes with certain privilege and then affords more privilege and theirs is one of distinct privilege so they drink a lot of sherry as well, well uh i think well. we can drink to our new partnership Navi. hopefully the beginning of Many fruitful ones. Ah, this is excellent, excellent, excellent way to to toast to your victory. And picks up their their goblet and yeah. drinks. One for my homies. Yeah, you just dump it on the table of food. Yeah. Uh, is there yeah. any way we should uh, look to contact you in the future? <laughs> Stock, I just saw her go put it. Uh, yeah, Andrea shark. became a shark really yeah, quick. Shark, yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, Andrea became a shark. Uh, I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> um, it, I it's, need comfort right now. It's the, it's, oh, that's fine. It's the wicker man with sharks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, were you, you were asking for more help, Norovar? No, no, I was saying, how to contact for us to get in touch with you if we need to for any um, We will be around. <laughs> and uh, we shall. Um, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll hear of you one way or the other, I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, you know, 
Thank we're you not gonna, we're not and we're going to excuse ourselves before anybody says anything terrible. No, 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 no. I, I do have to ask, how are we supposed to get our, <laughs> our friend down three flights of steps since you knew that we had a centaur coming? He can get down. He just, uh, <laughs> don't, don't, I'm like, don't fuss about me. It's fine. I'm like embarrassed by the whole. I just found an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no, perhaps no. all three of you can carry me down. Just Might have to. The, consider consider this a uh, an, uh, an audition to see if you're up to the task. Yeah. <laughs> Go down three flights of stairs. I'll so just slide on my there. knees. Yeah, all right. I guess then uh, after drinking the toast, I'm like, guys, shall we? Thank you for for your, the feast. No. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you you pre- you kind of proceed to uh, you know Nagi stands up and uh, you know gives you kind of a, a, a bow curtsy, if you will, as you leave. Okay. Um, the uh, the you're holding the this this talent this old it's like a, it's I mean it looks like a life size like wolf claw in your hand. Mm-hmm. Um, Dang. and it's uh. You feel kind of a a, a tingle from it, like you, you do feel it since it has some sort of magic to it, okay. um, but you're not sure what the what it actually is. Um, but it definitely, Norvar, based on your background, you know this thing's definitely worth some bucks. Like it's not it's not like a cheap piece of gear. So yeah, I'll uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh... I, I don't put it around my neck just yet. I'll put it in the my yeah. Horn line. yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like a scrying claw you wear. I All smell right. sorcery. Yeah, you you go ahead and you you put it in your pouch and you have this uh, silver this silver talon. Um, I don't say oh, amulet like a uh, charm necklace something like that. My needs attunement. Um, we'll good. figure something out. Yeah, no, that's right. attunement. Oh, okay, ah. good. It I was wondering. Yeah, it Maybe. will. No, it does not. It, oh. kinda, it, it does not need too many. Yeah. yeah, it has a very limited function. I'll say that, so it's not going to need anything of that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's actually fairly passive. Um, so uh, what's you, you guys? You know, leave the place. It's maybe like seven, eight p.m. or something like that. Uh, it's definitely raining still. Um, we should go to a bar so we can talk and I can explain did, what just happened. Did you? And why I did what I did? Did you guys want to go back to my father's place or did you want to go back to the infamous Pearl where you currently have rooms? Oh. Infamous Pearl, right? Yeah. Oh, which yeah. one's closer to the, where this entrance would be? Um, that would probably be the Infamous Pearl, since it's more of an inn. Um, it would be on the edge of town. Uh, yeah, let's head back to the inn where we're, where stuff is. Yes. Yeah. You guys go. And, you guys head head back to the Infamous Pearl. Um, they have the whole bottom floor. There's there's quite a few people in here right now due to the rain mm. and such. So uh, you might have a little bit of trouble getting more privacy, but it's not. Everybody out! But then again, it is noisy, so like you might be able to, to talk amongst each amongst each other pretty well. Tell us, no, Arvar. What right, do you suspect? Well, here's the deal. I took the thirty. I gave him the thirty percent because, frankly, we have no friends here. We have no support. We have no anything. This is an incredibly dangerous organization. We're we're at we're at our. We're at a disadvantage. I mean, we may call our. We got friends. We got the. We got the. You're my friend. (laughs) Yeah. We have each other, but like this is a group that apparently Sniss's group is afraid of. Like this Mm. is the this is the main thieves guild, or whatever they are. But needless to say, they know everything about us. But not every. They know what we've done since we've come here. They know our names. They know everything. They just didn't know who we represented. And I barely managed to not discuss that. I thought it would be wise to get them off our backs as long as possible per your suggestion, Dogshan, because frankly, you know, we don't need to fight two people at once right now. Um, That's fair. In the future, depending on what our goals are, we can decide afterwards when we're a little bit more advantage. But I thought 30% is a good purchase of finding where they are, getting them out of the way, and getting whatever this thing is to help us get through whatever gross shit's underneath this city. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a slog, and there's only four of us. 
Uh, I know, I know, more bar. You count as three. With my chart. <laughs> but yeah, I gave up more because truthfully, the, when we really get down to it, we really don't have any. So I figured once we get this, we'll have a lot more funds. We'll have a lot more commanding presence, and we'll have this organization, of which I'm shocked now that I realize I do not know the name of, uh, <laughs> is uh, at least friendly because we're removing stuff. Because they, they don't care. If we die, we're out of the way. If they die, even better. So. And, and also, perhaps a benefactor will reward us for capturing these wizards. Uh, so there's I that hope, treasure. I sure as hell hope so. So we may end up actually in a really strong place for our buddy partnership and organization. So that's my I thought. will allow it. <laughs> <laughs> the name of us will grow. And I saw I did so much talking for us that since I'm suddenly the mouthpiece, I might as well roll with it. And uh, I do not time, I'll clear some division with you guys. I would have gone down to 10%. I, think, I, did, I did think I started too high, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's okay. But I will say this. I don't plan on giving uh, them anything in the end. So that's all right. I will say this. We need to find some, I don't know. None of us are very magical. Mm. You know, we need Sorcery. To... I, I look at my copy. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I, thought you got... I look at my PM and I see his eyes light up. Light up in the middle of the inn. I thought you were going to say we need uh, equipment for uh, going down in the depths of the city, but well, there's, there's also we that we can go tonight. But it is night, and it will be a long night. I mean, I'm ready to go if you guys are, but do we need anything? Um, I think we're all healed up. Yeah, you guys are in good shape. I, I think we're good equipment-wise. No better time than the present. Yeah, I mean, we have our lantern, and I pointed his codpiece. Yeah, of course. It's and dark vision. <laughs> yeah, and dark vision, yeah. I'm seeing I mean, all the shits in the game. Daytime or nighttime, I'm not looking forward to descending into the catacombs. So, the yeah, I mean, do it. I, you know, again, meta wise, it, I, I don't think there was anything that we were given that it would matter whether it's at night or during the day. It's always dark right. in the catacombs. Yeah. It's well, like, everything's terrible. Work. I find that everything's scarier go. at night. But yeah, yeah it's um, terrible. Too. Yeah. Well, we already had a long rest, so we should all be. Uh... We just ate a giant feast. There's another uh, it concern. Is, it is still rain. Oh. And yeah. there is a concern that the sewers might be a tad full right now. Might flood. I have one other concern that I want to say. If Tupin, if they know about us, it's possible the wizard might know about us. I was expecting that they already did. Also, it's possible that, and likely, that the organization is going to play both groups off against each other and benefit from the success of whoever. And, and you should be aware that I plan on doing the same. Treachery. I appreciate your honesty, Zog Chen. That's why we're friends. Perhaps we should try to uh, search out some type of sorcery to help us, to aid us in our travel. In our That's my only concern. I don't know if we really have any opportunity to find anybody, but... Well, I mean, you're at an inn. There, there's people abound and such. I mean, there's there's plenty of people you could ask if there's certain services in town or people that maybe have come through recently that can help out with that stuff. How much money do we have right now? Currently... I don't know who's who's the who's got the money. Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, I got it. I, got I have some, He's but I have like thirteen gold pieces. But that's it from earlier. Got one one sixty six. It says. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make it rain. Not enough to hire a wizard, and not enough and bear, not enough to make any magic items, but enough to possibly get somebody to tell us what the hell that thing they gave us is, and possibly enough to. Uh, well, I think we know what it is. It's gonna it's gonna navigate us through the catacombs. Yeah, but this is something about like clearing a way for us to kind of um, i think that's just something we're going to figure out when we get down there <laughs> your faith in the uncertain worries me <laughs> but oh but then again you are more comfortable down there yes oh yes that's true. As, as, as it were you don't have to worry about falling into the sky yeah yeah no, I, don't know. I will protect you <laughs> <laughs> hey, Walmart. i know um well, the only thing I can think of is if we wanted extra stuff. I mean, I really look over what do we got. 
I have. We have torches. We need I a lantern. Uh, potion of healing. Has anybody not seen the dark? Uh, I cannot. Yeah, the centaur does not. It's. Uh, yes. Wait. Centaurs aren't made for the, the underground, but I do have a torch, and I will stand closely behind Zog Chen's cod piece. Will will uh, will Trouncer be able to walk through? Is he? Uh, it's a tight fit. It'll okay. be a tight fit of points uh, for him. Yikes! Awkward. But he'll be yes, out. I think Trouncer should should be in the back. In yes. Yes. Claustrophobic. Uh, he serves like poop and stuff. <laughs> I gotta be honest, when we get down there, this is your realm in terms of underground. I know it's not the Underdark, but, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not from the Underdark. Oh, that's right. It, Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's power. I know but, it's uh, not. Yeah, I'm with you. You know, so. But it I mean, is a sewer system, right? Like, isn't that? It is, yeah. It, 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 what, you're, what, you kind of, what you kind of guessed is that there, this is built on like, the ruins of an old castle. And what they were kind of hinting at was that they used that to kind of build the basis of a sewer system, but there's still stuff beneath that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rooms. Are Rooms there any? Like yeah. That. Is there any type of uh, potion or sorcery you think that will aid? Can aid us underground in the catacombs? Alcohol. No. <laughs> More <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> Um, Scrubbing bubbles. Yeah, you might be. Able, they might be able to get you drunk enough. Uh, the centaur drunk enough to make him feel comfortable <laughs> underground. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like I used to date a dog when you put him on a plane. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you, uh, there. Uh, as you, uh, you guys kind of ponder this. There's um. People are kind of starting to look at you a little bit in the area. Um, you guys have spent a lot of time kind of conversing about your where you're going to go and how you're going to head underground and such. Uh, no one's like really heard you, but you do see people kind of over once in a while looking over at you. Uh, you are are they mom. are they like chatting while yeah, they're looking like at look the... over you and go like oh okay like oh, that's interesting. you don't see a centaur in here all the time and the is it is it more of a leer are they leering at us I wouldn't go so far. They're yeah. not like they don't seem to be saying derogatory things. It's more of a curiosity. They're staring at my physique. That's physique. All. The, yeah. the the centaur's physique, but also like the obsidian uh, skin dwarf with the skull over his crotch. <laughs> I give him one of these. Sorry. Yes. The walking <laughs> fuck symbol. Nice. Cool elf. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> come at me, bro. Yeah. So you you uh you know they're, but they're kind of like oh and they kind of like look the other way and such. That's um, what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Level four, bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna do that in life. I'll be like <laughs> level sixteen, bitch. Back up. Yeah. The uh you um but you kind of chill out there and, and these people kind of start kind of start looking at you and uh, the um. Your uh, your ser the servant staff that has been helping you, uh, specifically this waitress, uh, kind of hands you your drinks. And as she's handing, she says, "You know, people have been. Uh, there's been someone came in here earlier asking about you while, while you while you were gone for the day. What they look like? Uh, this is a rather um, a dark, darker skinned individual. He was wearing armor. Oh yeah. What did he say?" He was curious about um, the new individuals. Something about um, I, I just I, I didn't catch all his entire message. It was rather convoluted, but he seemed to be thinking that there was some sort of portent with you. Some sort of he talks about things from the gods and such. I, I didn't understand at all. Hmm. Any and anything uh, distinct in regards to his dress. His his shield it it had a it was a moon uh, with a heart. He wore a blue kind of gray uh, garb. That that's all new to me. I don't know if mm. that no it doesn't sound like, like Moel. No, it does not sound like Moel at all. <laughs> uh, no, he, he was human. He was human. If you're asking. Um, he, he's, yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure, but he seemed to have, um, an interest in, uh, in your lot somehow. I, you know, I think he was a priest of, of Ku. 
Kukuza, uh, you would know. Kukuchu, yes. yes. Kukuza, a uh, deity, uh, K U U is how it's spelled, uh, is a deity okay. of um, life. Okay. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Is this. I like to look at look at Trouncer's uh, chat. Yeah. No. That was actually good because I was going to say something different. Uh, yes. Um, I I give. Uh, is this a waiter or waitress? That's a waitress. Waitress. Uh, I I give her uh, a gold coin. Okay. Yeah. Subtract. And I say uh, when when you see this gentleman again, uh, let him know where he can find us. Absolutely. We, we, uh, we always try to keep the discretion of our uh, patrons and our guests. Um, but, but I will be sure to uh, tell him. What is up with my connection? So who? Hmm. A cleric. A human. A human seeks us out. Hmm. A priest. Strange. What did you guys, Morbon? What did you do? Would you I, do it? Did you, did you go to a temple when we weren't looking? What did you do? I drank all. I drank all the all the all the holy sherry. <laughs> Perhaps we met him at the uh, the uh, brothel. Uh-huh. We don't re- realize it. No, a priest would not be a, a priest? brothel. <laughs> no, they, they could be. It's more that, more on the rest. On the rest very... side. Well, it depends on what kind of temple. At least at a playground before you catch him at a. Ooh. Ouch, man. We don't even no. know this priest yet. <laughs> He's gonna rough. have a rough entry. <laughs> I grew up in Massachusetts, dude. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So moon on moon on the shield. Moon with a heart on the shield. Yeah, it's it's a it's a moon over a heart. Moon over so. a heart. A, yeah, moon over it a sounds, heart. It sounds very auspicious Huge. and beneficial for us. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a care bear. <laughs> A little, <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It, it's kind of. It's kind of weird. There. There is no like. Uh. As far as you guys can tell, there's no real like dedicated temple in the town, either. Um. So you're guessing it's like some sort of traveling priest. Okay, Jeff. It's um, not somebody we were to recognize that came from the pit. No. No. You, there was a pretty big squashing of any kind of like real religion in the pit or practitioners, um, unless you were like, you know, praising Zosh or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, um, we should definitely wait before we descend into the catacombs to talk to this uh, person. Yeah, and the waitress does say, I, 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 I didn't get a name from him, I'm sorry, so. Yeah, that's not your problem. That's okay, thank okay. you. But yeah, she leaves your drinks and takes her gold coin and walks off. Is very happy about that. Very kind. Um, in, in, retros- in retrospect, I shouldn't have given her the gold coin. I feel like <laughs> the little buyer's remorse there. I got, I got, I got a story. Very. About, I got a, sto- a story about overtipping someone once. Too, I'll tell you sometime. Uh, <laughs> the guy got the guy got very, very happy. Like it was scary happy. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, just don't tip people in Europe. I've heard so. that too. Yeah. It, you will get the opposite reaction. Okay, gotcha. Oh. Great. You're, you're very generous, Longshen. Well, we, we got somebody else looking for us now. This is fantastic. Can't yeah. wait. So oh, yeah, yeah. Th- this 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 individual sounds it sounds it's kind of curious. Um, Norvar, you know, this could be kind of an in in terms of like, uh, you know, a little bit about Ku. This is the deity. You're you're. The other individuals in the group probably wouldn't be so familiar, but you've, you've recognized people of Ku. Generally, this is a goddess of, um, like, healing. Mm. Uh, or one of, um, like, people would pray to Ku when they want to um, either, like, both sick, like, physically sick, but also maybe, like, they're suffering. Um, so Ku's about, like, alleviating suffering a lot. Um, oh. But it's also good. does uh, represent the uh, kind of represents also like like the moon element of it comes from how like a good night's sleep can make you feel better too. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Well, I will say it's a little weird. I wouldn't suspect that our benefactors, starting to hate that word, uh, would send somebody like this. Like one of these priests would work for them. I wouldn't think. 
Uh, and I definitely don't think this priest worked for an organization, so I think we have something else going on. Yes, perhaps this priest has a different interest in seeking us out. Should we wait and try and find this priest before setting out, or should we... Um, Meta-wise, uh, I would say yes. I mean, it definitely would help. Like, I mean, yeah. if, but they, but yeah, you can tell, and then the, if you ask the waitress more, she'll tell you that like... Oh yeah, where is this? He wasn't aggressive. He was he was like demanding to see you or yeah. Like, no, I get it. So okay, well let's uh, maybe maybe she, we can get a couple more things and then see who this priest is before yeah, we head out. Do you out. guys need any gear like for underground? Like That's uh, what well, I'm actually thinking. now right that I know what's going on, I'd like to probably buy a little bit more supplies as far as I mean, okay, meta uh, outside the game. I know I'm not going to need as many healing things, but I'm trying to think of what else we might need down there. Like, we all have. Well, how long? How long are we going to be down there? Are we going to need food? I think we're going to be down there for a while. I have. Yeah. I have a day's worth of rations. I think I need to like add. Them. Yeah, I think we need yeah. to up that. And maybe I a think, lantern. I, I should get like a lantern to hang uh, on my you, saddlebag. Uh, Norma, you should read your sheet where it says quantity. Oh, I see. So you have ten days of rations. Yeah. Ten, oh, ten yeah. one days of rations. Oh. Well, I think oh, we should okay. all have probably the ten ten rations would, would probably be a good idea. Uh, okay. Uh, for everybody, and I think does anyone have like an explorer's pack? Do we have rope? Well, I have rope and a okay. net. I mean, you have rope. You can't use rope. You're. <laughs> it's for, it was for pulling things. It's for pulling things. Yeah. <laughs> Carps and, uh, and so forth. We might. We might need to buy some shit. I do have a potion still of uh, hill giant strength that may come in handy if there's an <laughs> avalanche or collapse or something, or for fighting. Yeah. Water skin, um, I can shield. I mean, unless I can, yeah, unless I can. Well, I think we'll be okay with water. I have a seven pound bedroll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a big ass bedroll. What? Uh, but you've already known. That yeah. is for the group. Okay. <laughs> I do have one too. This is a roll. I don't know if that weighed that much. Uh, I don't have anything. <laughs> I mean, I can see in the dark. I have dark vision, so I don't usually grab torches. But let's see. Let me see what I got. I mean, maybe oh, do we I need to buy an explorer's pack. But that would probably yeah, you have. Can, it. You could pick up an explorer's pack real quick, Norbar. Yeah, because they got a pittons and all that climbing stuff. Oh, I got a cloak. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the hell that's going to do if we run into something like that for you. I know. I will need boots. I wonder how much a... Um, well, I got some rope. Uh, I got a torch. I got a water skin. A, so a, a, a spell of... Maybe they, we can... I don't know how much this is going to cost as far as the scroll goes, but maybe we should look and see something in terms of lowering you down softly, like Featherfall. Oh, Featherfall? Oh, yeah, Medication. yeah. Medication. Uh, something that allows you, maybe even, uh, there's no way we're going to be able to afford Scroll of uh, well, You, you might be able to afford that, actually. Um, that's actually not a very hard, you're talking like a ring of feather fall or something like that? Something yeah. like, something are there, for Are there him. boots? Are there boots of, uh, feather well, fall? He, he can't wear boots, but, um, there, have there's to be no way we can afford anything form. that's going to change the size. That's going to be too expensive. But yeah. maybe we can have something that allows you, if we have to climb, that yeah. allow you to not yes. fall to your death. A ring of climbing or a ring of feather fall or some type of sorcery yeah, like that. A, no, right. So that's actually a very expensive item. Uh, <laughs> spare no expense. <laughs> spare no expense. No, trust me. It was, that, the expense will spare you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> probably like a thousand gold. A thousand probably gold. more than that, actually. But um, probably yeah. like five thousand gold. Oh, I know. I know. What, I know. What I could do. Let me, let me pull it real quick here. Uh, it would be like I said. What you could always do if we got to go down, you just start raging and jump. It'll have your damage and then take a nap. Yeah. That seems so not. I'm crazy. just saying. I don't want to say realistic in a game where I'm talking to my okay. friend Pentar, but. Here we go. Okay, you can, you can, there's an item you could, you could obtain uh, tier list okay. uh, on the cheap if you are interested in trying to find one of these. Yes. So um, you, you take a little bit of time and you do manage to find a store that sells uh, feather tokens. And these okay. are basically one time shot feather, it's a feather fall token. So basically, like, it automatically casts feather fall on your persons if, okay. if you fall farther than 20 feet. Okay. What's the cost of that? Uh, 50 gold pieces each. All right. And they got one. One, okay. And then what about the, uh, ex like, all the other stuff? Uh, ex like, Explorer's Pack? 
Yeah. Uh, that will be like Stable. what? What do you want exactly? You want like a like a Dunnier's pack, or what? What do you want like? And I think Norvar. What did you? Unless you spent it out of your own pocket. I spent it out of my own pocket. But okay. I grabbed an Explorer's pack for myself. I hope it's not weird. Yeah, Dunnier's no. pack's twelve gold pieces. So, but if you want that, but yeah. Oh, what do you get with it? Pack or explorer's Dungeon pack? pack, I think, is what you have actually, uh, Zogchen. It's the crowbar, hammer, pythons, torches, yeah. tinderbox, right. rations, water skin, rope. That's the explorer or the dungeoneers? That's the dungeoneers. Oh, I'm ready to go, baby. Crowbar's dope. That's oh, yeah, I see that. A nice token. Does the gnome need anything? Uh, I am looking pretty good as far as you mean. Yeah. Fire ash and everything. I have. Yeah, you got good gear. Yeah. Iron good. pot's awesome. Plus, I'm small. I am. Just <laughs> yeah, you are. That's so true. So looking forward with with more barn. So you're you're our little assassin here, which I think is going to become very important when we approach wizards. We want someone to kind of sneak in and see if we can get a few licks before uh before the bruisers oh. come out. Uh, uh, a lantern, that's what I'm going to get, some type of lantern. I have a lantern, I can give you it. You do? Okay, yeah. I don't fucking need it, obviously. Okay, I'll put it on my uh, thing. I'll hang that around myself. There you go, like a like a cowbell. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, <laughs> oh, I like all mm -hmm. That's derogatory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it would be bad if I told you to put it like a stick. Take it out. <laughs> um, but like, do you, do you have like daggers and assassin -y type things that we can yeah, use. I'm pretty... I have... Looks like... That bone sword and the iron tower is a... Oh yeah, that's right. You get that. And then I have... It says that I have three daggers. Yeah. So, nice. Yeah, and I have a crossbow too. Oh yeah, you. that's all really good actually. Maybe we should be yeah, like... I mean, that unless I could get a, a chain of like a pike or some type of a two handed uh, heavy weapon. I <laughs> need actually, I might need to get another weapon because yeah. a long sword in a small little cave that it gets tight might mm. not be the best thing for me to swing around. Oh, yeah, you might get short. Yeah, short sword. It, it's not, yeah, the long sword's not, not a problem actually because you can use it as a stabbing motion too. Like, it's, yeah. it's more of. Just the slashing is kind of the preferred method, but you're you're fine with it in a, in a tight spot, actually. Yeah. Unless you're like crawling it. through, like you're you know you're pulling like diehard Bruce Willis, you're trying to crawl through air ducts and shit with it. Yeah, that's your problem. But I mean, that's funny. why you have more barn. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, I like all this. Uh, really quick, you know, uh, I'm thinking since since we got a crew here, you know, we're becoming a bit more official. Maybe you know, kind of like the warriors. Good best. Yeah, we gotta get some vests. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. Phone, this phone's ringing. That one's not mine. Not me, I don't think. Me? Uh, hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dominic. That was pretty good. Oh. That was, wow. that was I thought you were gonna say group tattoos, but oh, vests I like better. So, I mean, yeah, thinking, I guess we're wrapping up. Is is the what's happening? We're wrapping up the session. Yeah, sure we're wrapping up here. I want you guys to get your gear ready so we can pick it up directly next time. Okay. Maybe like maybe like headbands, a vest. I like headbands. 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 Some torches. Because yeah, like the work. problem with the problem with the vest is like which which torso does Tiros put it on? <laughs> oh, it will be the upper torso because it's a cut. Oh yeah, upper yeah, like a little leather vest. Well, and then I can we'll, put a, we'll we'll get some patches. Yeah, put like a drug food. drug rug on my back. You know, we'll <laughs> drug rug. Yeah. There. Yeah. Uh, how much are healing potions? Uh, about fifty gold pieces each. Yeah, they ain't cheap. That's a yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the real question, if, if we're looking for things, is how much are headbands? Headbands, you guys can get a whole set of matching headbands, no problem. Unless you want to, the, unless yeah. you want them embroidered with your names individually on them or something. <laughs> I mean, um, but you I don't like a not want that. Set. You know, do you like leather headbands? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like the like little like like black leather. Little yeah. Leather. All right, you guys get black leather head matching headbands. Be Hell dazzled. Yeah. You're all little commandos now. I don't totally be to... dazzled. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you don't know about the be dazzled. All right, just leather headbands. 
Right. Cyrus nice. the virus, best look out. And some on my biceps, kind of ultimate. Right. 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 Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, we're all getting black leather headbands. Okay, yeah. black leather headbands. I like it. Yeah. All right. I am a so people, people know. People know. I love like it. Most, like most campaigns, we're just becoming chaotically evil. Yeah, that's uh, all right. I write, I write uh, Moel okay. on one of my little... <laughs> I'm not evil. I'm just trying to, remember to be a better him. person, Dog Chen. Dog Chen. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm totally... I'm, I'm ready to wipe out all the organizations. I'm running this shit. Who runs over Gian- Giannis? All right. Well, in that case, we'll, we'll we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up next time, folks. That was good. <laughs> nice. Pretty good. We end up, I want to end on a positive note of headbands. Leather headbands is a positive. Headbands. Note. headbands. So, all right. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll catch Hell you guys yeah. next week on on Wednesday. Right. I just see a montage of just like a montage of headbands. Oh <laughs> yeah. I like it, man. Putting strapping them up everywhere. All right. <laughs> all right thanks everybody for tuning in. To us. I really appreciate everyone giving a view. All right. Take care. Bye. All right, we're clear. All right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and everything. Yeah, no, I, I, I almost didn't catch on that if that was going to be the cleric, and then I was like, yeah. oh shit, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. That was kind of. I was, gag. I was, uh, I was ready to pay the waitress off to tell her not to tell him where we were, and then like, <laughs> get the player come like, oh, that'll be problematic. Yeah, that, that's like really like detrimental to the game. Like someone, yeah. you just you just shit on someone's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can never find us. <laughs> All right. Separate side um, quest. But yeah, that, that's all good stuff. 